To some, golf is just a sport. To others, it is so much more. Meet eight-year-old Rylan Morgan. He has a disorder that affects his development both mentally and physically. Playing golf was part of his rehab until he recently got too weak to play. But now, as Nine Year Size Christina Myers reports, Rylan is back on the course Alrighty. thanks to an 80-year-old oh, man boy. with a huge heart and some very good timing. When Ryland Morgan was diagnosed with sensory processing disorder at the age of five, golf was part of his physical therapy. But it was also Ryland's greatest connection to his grandfather, or Pap Pap, Harold Edwards. Harold died last year, just days after Ryland's seventh birthday. And shortly after, Ryland's disorder made golf clubs too heavy for him to carry and swing, so he had to stop playing. He was not only getting self-defeated for himself, but then he also thought he was losing that connection with my dad. Ryland's mother, Heather, didn't know what to do until one day she saw an article in the Green Valley newspaper. Custom golf club maker Bob Barrett was looking for a disabled or less fortunate child to make a set of clubs for. I've gotten so much out of it without giving back, and I wanted to find some way to give something back. And I thought, oh, we'll never get chosen. That doesn't happen, you know? And then I kept um, hearing my dad say, do it. And then, um, so then I did. Mr. Barrett got plenty of applications for his free custom clubs. I got quite a few, but his just was heads and shoulders above everybody else. And today, the big reveal. Look what we got for you. Oh, thank you. All righty. On the way. And the clubs are more than just a gift, but the start of an unlikely friendship. And the kindness doesn't end with Mr. Barrett. Members of the Desert Hills Golf Club in Green Valley have now actually adopted Ryland as their honorary grandson. So that means that he can go and play with them for free anytime. Guys, Stella, back to you. I love that. Thank you for sharing that story, Christina. <laughs>